What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mid Hunter Comics and today I'm going to tell you the story of my worst comic book trade ever or so far. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We got the 20,000 subscriber giveaway coming up, which you're getting the cameo and the first full appearance of King Shark in 9-8 with the CGC corrected notes to finally make mention of King Shark on uh, Superboy Zero here. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, so this story is what I would consider my worst trade to date. Now, what's interesting about this is I wish I could tell you this was 10 years ago, 12 years ago, when I was kind of getting into the more collecting aspect of things. However, this was borderline hardly even five years ago. This was 2018, I'm pretty sure. And I just, man, I should have known better. I just, there's no excuse. <laughs> I didn't have a YouTube channel. I had an Instagram, but maybe one in 50 posts would be something comic book related. I didn't really have any connections other than my local comic book shops, which ironically, if I were to have talked to them about this, they probably would have told me, dude, no. Well, anyway, I had a nice run of Fantastic Four. It was like issue 210 all the way to the end of the run. I really want to say it ends at 412 off the top of my head. I think that sounds right. And I had this whole run and I think there were like five or six comics missing in the middle. I thought that it was going to give me a lot of leverage having this nice, full, super clean run here. And I went on mycomicbookshop.com and I was going on eBay and I was spending on filling in the gaps and fixing those holes, plugging those holes, getting those comics to make it even more complete. Being a big DC guy, I always wanted to focus my collection more on collecting Green Lantern, Batman, Superman, Flash, this and that. So I got into contact with this dude. I think I had messaged him on his eBay and I was able to get his number. Ironically, eBay doesn't let you share phone numbers in the messages now anymore. So that dates this story a little bit. He was amenable and he gave me his number and we were chatting comics for a little bit there and he was really interested in my fantastic four and he had a bunch of batman stuff i was like all right why don't we do a meet we can do a trade the concept of trading was still fairly far and i'd probably traded maybe only 10 times up until this point we meet up we set a time and everything we met in a church parking lot and i brought all my fantastic four and he brought a bunch of stuff now we had loosely talked about which batman keys i was interested in before we got there he let me have a couple of them but he rescinded on a few of them so he was like you know what i can't really get rid of this one but look i got all this other stuff let's see what you want so i went through and at that point i was trying to complete all kinds of batman related miniseries and runs so i wanted to complete my shadow of the bat legends of the dark knight but then like gordon's law like uh, Gotham PD and like all these other Batman related miniseries and maxi series things. I was finding the stuff that I wanted. I had little Google sheets of all my missing comics and I was just filling in the gap. So he had this, he had that, he had that. And it, for, for some reason it just didn't occur to me what I'm letting go is a near complete run of like Fantastic Four. Let's say it was 210 all the way to the end of the run. That's got a ton of keys in there, but all also, some of that stuff is from the 70s, 80s, that I'm just letting go for Shadow of the Bat and Legends of the Dark Knight books, which are not keys by any stretch of the imagination. We made the deal. He walked away with a near practically complete collection of that Fantastic Four run. Um, 200 issues, pretty much, he was getting there. And I walked away with a about 60 comics if i remember correctly i walked away with only one key and it's a measly one at best it was the first appearance of rat catcher yeah i don't know what overcame me i don't know what i was thinking but and i remember when i was leaving i remember thinking like this doesn't seem like i made out here this doesn't seem like i did that okay and when i got home and i started looking <laughs> It dawned on me to actually look up the value of what I had lost versus what I had gained, and it, it was like 10 to 1, honestly. Maybe more. 
<laughs> and while it was cool to fill in the gaps for those other things that I was collecting at the time, a lot of those books are worth like 10 to 50 cents. Whereas the books that I had let go were 10, 15, 20, 25, $30 books. Yikes. Now I will say, you're probably wondering how the heck did this happen? This was only five years ago. I should have known better. Yes, I absolutely should have known better. But also this dude was a born salesman. I don't know how he pitched it to me, but I remember there he applied just the right amount of pressure that I couldn't really say no. He gassed up the books that I was picking up and got me really excited about them. And he made it an environment for me that I couldn't walk away even though when I did walk away, I knew I got played. The sad thing is, I don't even have the Shadow of the Bat anymore. I gave that away as a giveaway. I don't even have the Legends of the Dark Knight anymore. I think that was my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I literally don't even have these books anymore that I made this bonehead trade on anyway. I do think like if I had those books now, I mean, who knows? What, what, what do you guys think you could honestly sell for that? A lot of it was really high grade stuff. Uh, 200 books. It was missing like, again, like five. Like what, what would I have been able to sell that for? Like two grand? And instead I got like $40 worth of comics. Oh boy. It, I've got a lot better at the art of the trade and a lot better at knowing when to walk away or when I'm being played. But unfortunately back then I got really taken to the bank. Have you guys ever walked away from a collection just like, what just happened? Let me know down in the comments if you've ever gotten played. I know there's ups and downs. We've all got big scores where maybe we made a killing at the local comic book shop. And then we've all got stuff like this where you meet in a church parking lot and you give away possibly thousands of dollars worth of comics and get back basically useless 90s Batman fluff. It happens to everybody. We all got a story like it. Uh, I just, I've said it before, wish I had a time machine for sure. Anyway, guys, as always, keep on hunting. Try to be smart about it, though. <laughs> <laughs>